each other tips. Well, now on screen we got, of course, K-Bean. We saw him early, uh, a little bit earlier, and also uh, Zexy uh, here. This winner's final. Did he so. get the best of you? Zexy? Uh, Zexy, yeah, he got the best of me. It was it was a good set. Love I'm familiar with K-Bean's game. I was able to watch him at the UNBC tournament and win. Very good, Bowser. The the difficult thing for K-Bean, especially against a character like this, is um, K-Bean uh, and Bowser's game plan just in general is capitalizing on mistakes. It's one of the things that kind of holds him back in Ultimate is if your opponent doesn't really make mistakes, it can be hard for Bowser to get stuff done. But as I pointed out in uh, Winter Semis uh, when Zexy was uh, when Zexy was up here on stream, Zexy has been going for a lot of grabs and playing much more aggressively than neutral, and that could potentially spell to some openings for KB to be able to get in there. Right. We see already it's pretty close, and Young Link, very light character. It's not going to take too much more in the tank for KB to be able to take this. Almost anything. Uh, really well at this point. So let me ask you this, why would someone choose Young Link over like Toon Link or even just Link? So Young Link has better frame data than both of those other Links. He can kind of press whatever buttons he wants. He's a bit slower on the ground than Toon Link, but faster in the air. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I am biased against uh, Adult Link. I don't think he's a particularly great character. Doesn't have the best results in this game. Toon Link has though, um, and they all play quite a bit differently from each other. I would say Young Link uh, definitely has the tools uh, to play a bit more aggressively than the other two. Right. And of course the reason you play Bowser is because he's Bowser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's him. He's him. Certainly a heavy hitter, which makes it a hard matchup against lightweights. Yeah, it makes it tricky. It means that you have to be playing on point because you know, one, one or two of those openings can really do it. I mean, every single move that these characters has literally does more damage right. uh, than anything that Young Link has in the tank. What's interesting, I, I use a lightweight character, and I do like playing against heavyweights because of that big hitbox. It's uh, easier to start combos. Yeah, and it feels, it feels fair when you're fighting against them. Because when you make a mistake and you get called out, it's like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Uh, it always feels like you have that opportunity to be able to get in there. Um, and Zexy is taking all of those opportunities. Look at how much damage is getting racked up. You have a jumpless Bowser. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness, goodness. is that it? Oh, the back air in a wow. fourth spin. Look at that conversion. What a combo. That was crazy. One jumpless Bowser, and you're just getting hit by the toothpick of destiny. Jeez. And the up air, or down air, wow. is going to take oh, it wow. off the top, yep. That's interesting. Down air goes in, goes off. Yeah, it, uh, in Melee, it had a spike hitbox. They got rid of it in this game. And it's just, it's just kind of the pogo stick now. It makes it very reliable, though. It's such a reliable option for covering techs. And, you know, what started out as an even game, Zexy just ran all over him. He is trying to speed run right now uh, his way through the Mushroom Kingdom. Did Speak they choose a Star Fox song? It said Sector 1. Ugh, sector 1. Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with a lot of... There's so many songs in this uh, game. Yeah. There's over 1,300... Of course, the best names? one being the Star Fox one. <laughs> Unbiased take. Unbiased take. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't tell you. I'm not really a huge Star Fox person, so... See, that's where your first mistake lies. I like the Tekken music, though. Yeah, Te Tekken that's Tekken very music. good. I should add to the Xanadu experience, a uh, very nice facility. Uh, plenty of monitors and uh, consoles to play with. Got 30, 34 setups on deck, I believe. Some, something around there. Uh, and that's just the ones that are out here. There's wow. more in there. That's, man. It's very cool. I'll have to see you later if Brig will let you, let you go back there. He's a nice dude. Yeah. Um, that's who. That's who's producing this, by the way. So, so everybody say hi, Brig. None of this would happen without them. Here we got three even percentages between the two. Gets the grab there. Throws back. Yeah, both players. Are doing was just game. waiting for his opening. I do notice Kabin likes to use the fire whenever uh, someone, whenever he's at the ledge. Yeah, it's very good for catching people trying to get back to the stage. Right. That's a great upper as well from uh, from KB to end up taking that stock there, but ooh, nice Another drag great. down. Oh wow. That was his those, Zexy has really good combos. Those combos are so sexy. I was going to make that joke. <laughs> we were both thinking it. 
<laughs> We're on the same wavelength. I like it. I like it. Oh, the it's actually keepers. again getting in there, just not letting up. Kabin cannot get out. Kabin. Wow. Oh my goodness. Zexy just dragging Zexy him down. If Zexy can keep up his game like this, I think he'll get a sweep. The problem is you just you can't land as this character. What do you wow. do when you can't touch grass? I don't think he took a hit. I think that was just a clean stock. Finally, K being able to get in there with the side B, but Zexy... Chooses not to use the fire. Either. Didn't have the time. Zexy's not really giving him the opportunity. Gosh. Once again, Kabin looking to even this up before he is 100%. It looks like he's struggling to do it. I mean, uh, I mentioned this in game number one, right? Kabin prides on on being able to capitalize on mistakes, and Zexy wow. is not making a whole not lot of them. Not at all. Not at all. Almost zero openings coming out, and you gotta wonder, Kabin is a player in the region that does have some deep pockets for weird matchups. He did tell me before the set that he was going to try and stick it out with the Bowser, but uh, we do have a couple of other characters in the back pocket. It doesn't look like no, we're going to see not. it right now. Remind me, where is other characters? Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it zipped. We'll see. We'll see if he pulls it out in grand finals. Uh, mostly because Fair he's a enough. player for me and I don't want to reveal any secrets Fair that he enough. may have in the back pocket. Don't want to reveal the battle plan. Don't want to reveal the game plan. That is that is up for him and him alone. But you know what? He's got to take it here with the Bowser to be able to get back in it. Um, Zexy is not I, making any mistakes. Oh, yeah, no. He I admire the confidence. Point. I admire the confidence from KB, though. One big mistake from... KB just has to just put the two games out, out of his head and just, you know, focus on this one. And he's he, trying his darndest. Yeah. Oh, I Doesn't love that punch back. up in the nair. That nair is deceptively strong uh, off stage. KB is. Oh, doesn't quite get the kill. Yeah, that's a crucial drop too. I mean, that's one of the places where this character shines. And oh, there the we pivot! go. We got. Dash back okay, down KB. smash? Okay. Wow. You'll love to see it. That's good animation. That was not intentional, by the way, for him to take so long starting up that down smash. Got a bit of charge on it, too. The sauce calling out the spot dodge. And percents don't really matter too, too much when you're playing a heavyweight like this because it, it really is one or two openings that can do it. Look, down air, wow. the strong kill move that kills off the top didn't kill on the top platform at 140. His character, well, he's he, actually has he's not been taken eating. damage. He's been eating his Wheaties till now. It just takes a little bit. The down there smash call it again. The is that the adaptation? K Bean is just calling out these defensive options with down smash. K Bean's even surprised. He jumped out of his chair. Did not expect to die there. But still, much closer that. game than the last one. Ooh, wow. gets the back air, gets the back air again, the extension into oh, the ladder, we find goodness. the nair, the oh, double jab, shield. tries to call him out with the drag down. And it still gets it. Oh my goodness, we almost have him off stage once again, and yeah, K-Bean. You just gave up there? Yeah, just giving it up. I mean, and like, I, I can't, I can't make it back in this one. And it's unfortunate. I can't blame him, it's a difficult matchup, so we're probably going to be rocking it out, um, hoping in grand finals. Uh, he's going to be running it back, and he only has one more set to get there. Whoever uh, wins uh, the next set is going to be fighting up against him. Good stuff to K-Bean, and of course, good stuff to Zexy for making two winners. Definitely. Side grands. Um, so does K-Bean go to the losers, losers finals? Okay. Yep. Uh, losers finals, where he will fight against the winner of our next set on stream, which is going to be Just Wu versus JoJ. That's going to be. Sonic Diddy Kong. Uh, I'm not sure about you. I've got to get out of here right, uh, just because it's getting late. Um, 